Okay guys, we are all painted. Um, I just wanted to kind of hop on here and tell you guys a little bit about um, what worked, what didn't. Um, if I were ever to make these again, and I probably will because I thoroughly enjoyed them, I would make more of these because they just look so realistic. I'm not sure what kind of a flower this is, but they are just really real. I mean, the way the, the leaves kind of went down and pulled in some areas and it just, they just came out really good. So I'll make more of these. I will definitely make some more succulents. These I think came out very cute. The roses, um, they're okay. Um, I tried different things with these. Um, I tried paint, acrylic paint. I tried inks, ink sprays, waxes, and dyes. Uh, like um, India ink. Spray inks and India inks, acrylic paints, waxes, and I think that's it. But, um, okay, so these are paint. These are, um, I think, the first two that I did in the video. These were done with a heavy body acrylic, and those are okay. I touched them up on the edges with some waxes and then I, by the time you go over these um, you know again and again because it's a process some of that stuff you can't see um, some you know some of these I've gone over three four five six times um, these I was trying to create a vintage looking flower um, this one had gesso on it, this one did not. This one you'll see in the video, I believe. Um, it was off to the side on my desk and I didn't realize it that last night when I gessoed them, this one was off by itself and I didn't see it till I sat down today to paint. So I thought, let's see what happens. And what happens is because this is paper, um, it just soaked up my uh, sprays my inks and my, I tried glossy sprays, ink sprays, and oxide sprays. So it just literally, it just soaked right into the paper. So you definitely do need a gesso. What, it doesn't matter what brand, just get a gesso. Um, these, this one's okay. I like this one, it looks kind of realistic. This one, not so much. I mean, but really, have you ever seen a flower that you didn't like for whatever reason? I mean, they're not perfect, but um, these purple ones, I don't know, man. This one started out as pink, then it has purple, then I sprayed it with a metallic silver, and then I tried to save it by going back in and painting it white. This is my least favorite. Um, then I kind of got the hang of it with these two. This one has more of a wax on it. That's a silvery um, opal color. And this one just has the wax on it. So that's my least favorite, which, you know, what are you gonna do? Um, and then these are my four favorites right here. If I had a favorite flower, I would say a ro favorite rose, it would be this one. This is Sedona and Buff mixed together. And the edges have just a very light pounce of Buff paint on them. Um, and then all these will be gifted in like junk, uh, 
junk, what do they call junk drawers that I sell, or um, I will attach them to, um, you know, who knows, a mixed media project. I will throw them in someone's happy mail. I will send them off as a thank you with a card, whatever. You know, they're not too bad. This one probably is gonna go to the garbage. <laughs> You know, I guess there are some pretty not good looking flowers, I guess. So I'll just take back what I said earlier. So these two are my least favorite. And then, um, let's see. I would say this is my next favorite because it just looks realistic. All right, guys, I hope you get a chance to create something uh, and recycle some packaging along the way um, and make yourself some beautiful flowers the next time um, you think about throwing your egg carton away. Um, just sit down and make yourself some cute little flowers and some cute little succulents. All right, guys, see you. Hope to see you again. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And I hope to see you here again in the next video. Bye.